Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the books that I picked up in my most recent book haul. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. So as I said in my introduction, I just recently did a very big book haul. <laughs> I've been trying to be really good about purchasing books. I think the last time I did a large book haul was probably in the early summer 2022. And I have bought new books since then, but specifically I've bought new releases. I wanted to kind of wait to do a larger book haul until March. Um, March 1st was my birthday. And so I kind of felt like this was going to be a nice birthday treat for myself. Uh, I got a ton of books that I'm so, so excited to read and want to read like now. So I'm very, very excited to share with you what I got. And the first book that we're going to talk about is one that I'm actually planning on reading this month. And that's If We Were Villains by ML Rio. So I have definitely seen this book a ton of places. Uh, it seems like it's talked about really positively when I see it on YouTube and Instagram. I have definitely wanted to pick it up and give it a read. But what made me end up picking it up in this book haul was that I saw that it was in the mystery thriller section and for 2023 I decided that I want to read one mystery thriller style book every month and I didn't realize that this was mystery thriller so when I saw it in that section I knew that I immediately wanted to pick it up for this book haul and that it was going to be my March mystery thriller book so very excited about that one the next few books that I picked up are part of a series. I read A Court of Thorns and Roses in February 2023. I immediately went right into reading A Court of Mist and Fury, which I started at the end of February and brought me into March. And so because I was enjoying the series so much, I decided to pick up the next or the last three books in the series in this book haul. So I have A Court of Wings and Ruin, a Court of Frost and Starlight, which is more of a thinner novella, and then A Court of Silver Flames. And I'm not sure if the series is going to be continuing. Um, to be honest, I just haven't looked into that at all, but I loved the first book and I am really enjoying the second book. So I thought it would be good to have the rest of the books in the series. Um, I'm hoping to get into the third book in the series in March. The next book that I picked up is one that I am very excited about, very excited about, and that is uh, The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. So I read a Catherine Center book in 2022. It was the first time I'd ever read something from her. It was one of the books that was recommended to me for my Instagram challenge for 2022. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was super cute. And this book, The Bodyguard, was like everywhere when it came out last year. Everyone was raving about it, saying it was so, so good. And I definitely knew that I wanted to read it. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. So this book haul seemed like the perfect opportunity to pick it up. I actually have the arc for Hello Stranger, which is her book that's coming out this year in 2023. And I really, really want to read it, but I figured I should read The Bodyguard first. I don't think they're like uh, connected at all, but I just really want to read The Bodyguard and then I'm going to read Hello Stranger. So very excited to read that one. The Bodyguard is definitely a book that I want to get to sooner rather than later. The next book that I picked up is another mystery thriller, and that is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. Um, so I talked about in my February 2023 reading recap, which I believe is going to post before this video, um, that I read my first Alice Feeney in February. I read Daisy Darker. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I kind of figured out the twists early on, and I do feel like that took a little bit away from the book as a whole for me, but I have heard awesome things about Rock, Paper, Scissors. I feel like anytime some and talks about Alice Feeney, they usually talk about this book. And so even though I didn't love Daisy Darker, I really, really wanted to pick this up and give this a try. So yeah, I'll be reading this at some point this year to fulfill my mystery thriller, uh, my mystery thriller book that I want to read each month. 
The next book that I picked up is a book of poetry. I really picked this one up because I really like the title and that's Things We Don't Talk About uh, by Pandora Owl. So I've never heard of this poet before, never read anything from this poet, but just like I want to read a mystery thriller style book every month for 2023, I want to read a book of poetry every month as well. And so this one, just the title just got me and I it intrigued me. So I ended up picking it up. Next, we have a book that is in a series, uh, and that is Us Against You by Frederick Bachman. So I read Bear Town in February. I actually did not know it was a series when I started reading it. It was recommended to me, so I read it as part of my Instagram challenge. I really, really enjoyed it, and when I found out it was a series, I know I definitely wanted to continue on with the series. So I ended up picking up Us Against You as a part of this book haul. I'm not planning on reading this right away, and the reason I'm not is because um, while the third book in this series is already out, it's out in hardcover, I don't want to get it in hardcover. I want to wait until it comes out in paperback and I believe it is in September of 2023. So I read Bear Town in February. I'm thinking of reading this at the end of spring, early summer. That way when the soft cover of the third book in the series comes out, I can pick that one up right away and read it right away. So excited about this, but going to let this sit for a couple months before I read it. The next book that I have is one that I'm like, I am so excited. Like I'm so happy that I have this book. <laughs> And that's Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. So I read my first Abby Jimenez book in January. I read Yours Truly. It was an ARC, which I was super excited to get. Um, that book comes out in... I think it's April. I think April 11th. And it's wonderful. I gave it five out of five stars. If you have read Abby Jimenez and enjoyed her, read this. Read Yours Truly. If you've never read an Abby Jimenez book read this and then read yours truly. And the reason why I say read this is because um, yours truly and part of your world do have interconnected characters. And I did not know that when I read yours truly. And so the ending or the end result of part of your world did get spoiled for me in reading yours truly. And even though it did, I really, really want to read this book because I loved yours truly so, so much. I want to read something else by Happy Jimenez. I know people raved about this when this came out last year, so definitely want to pick this up soon. Next, we have a book that I saw a few people talk about on YouTube, but I also saw a bunch on Instagram. I don't know when I'm going to read this because I've heard it's sad and it makes you cry. Uh, but I had seen it at the bookstore several times and I was very intrigued by the cover. And so that in combination with hearing it talked about is what made me pick it up. And that is If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. This The cover's gorgeous. I think it's super intriguing for the story. Um, and I definitely want to give this a read. I just don't know when I'm going to get to it because I heard it's sad. And so I feel like I have to be like in the right mental state to read it. <laughs> Next, we have Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. Again, I've heard wonderful things about this, so I'm very excited to read it. Don't know that I'm going to get to it right away, but definitely want to give this a read this year. Next, we have another book of poetry, and this is one that I'm actually planning on reading in March. That's uh, Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Peppernell. I have seen this book a bunch. I know that uh, Pillow Thoughts is a multi-book situation for Courtney Peppernell. I've seen like a part two, a part three, I think even a part four. What caught me about this book was the cover. I love jellyfish. <laughs> I think they're so cute. And so that got me. That was enough for me to want to pick this up. Um, this is going to be the poetry book that I read for March 2023. Very, very excited about that. The next book that I ended up picking up is one that <laughs> um, I basically picked up because I was influenced by a couple of books that I've read so far this year. So I read Things We Never Got Over in January 2023. I read Things We Hide From the Light in February 2023. I liked both of those stories by Lucy Score. And so I went and I bought more Lucy Score books. Um, the first one that I picked up was Buy a Thread by Lucy Score. I feel like people who I've seen on YouTube read Lucy score books end up picking this one. So definitely wanted to pick this one up. And then I also got Forever Never by Lucy score. This one was just, it just happened to be sitting 
on a table at the bookstore next to this. So <laughs> I ended up grabbing it. Um, but I definitely feel like I've seen this one a bunch. I don't know that I've seen this one a bunch. So we'll see. But I really enjoyed the two Lucy score books that I've read. Um, so I'm excited to read another. The next couple of books that I picked up are a duology. I want to get more into fantasy this year. I'm thoroughly enjoying the Akatar series, um, having read the first book and a little bit of the second book. And so I ended up picking up this duology because I've heard really awesome things about it. And that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo and then the uh, sequel, which is Crooked Kingdom. I feel like I've particularly heard that Crooked Kingdom is really, really awesome. Um, but I've also heard good things about Six of Crows. Again, wanting to get more into fantasy, I'm hoping that... I'm picking good fantasy to get into. I'm trying to be selective about it. I'm trying to really hit very popular fantasy series that are highly rated because I don't want to get discouraged about fantasy by not picking the right books. So hopefully these two will be great for me. The next book that I got in my book haul was actually gifted to me. My mom got this for me as part of my birthday gift and that is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Um, I've heard that this is an incredible book. I know that The Marriage Portrait came out last year and people said that was incredible as well. Um, I definitely have had my eye on Hamnet for a while. I just hadn't purchased it. And so I'm really, really excited that my mom purchased it for me. I'm definitely going to be definitely going to be reading this within the next couple of months. Next, we have another book that I've seen a bunch and have wanted to pick up, just haven't gotten around to it. And that's Thank You for Listening by Julia Whelan. I love this cover, first of all. Um, I think the title's really interesting. I know that Julia Whelan, and I hope I'm saying her last name right, does do narration for um, audiobooks. And so I'm wondering if this is based on that. Like, is this a romance love story between two audiobook narrators? Because I would love every moment of that if that was true. Um, but I just have, heard, I've seen this on YouTube a bunch. I've seen people say it's really, really good. And so I wanted to pick it up and give it a try. And then the last two books that I purchased are the first two books in a series. I've had my eye on this series for a long time. I've been wanting to read this series for a long time. And there's a specific reason why I really haven't gotten to it yet and while and why I'm not going to read it right away. And so the first is Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. And then the second is the second book in the series, which is Ricochet. The reason why I hadn't picked these up is because I knew they were getting re-released with new covers. And the reason why I'm not going to pick them up right away is because they're getting re-released with new covers but they're not getting re-released all at once. So the first two books have been released. The third book in the series, I don't think gets released until mid to end, end of March. And I, I have a feeling like I'm going to get my hand, I'm going to start reading these and I'm going to want to fly through them. So I want at least like three or four of them to be released before I start reading this series. Um, and so I think I'm going to save them for summer 2023. I think I'm going to start them in the summer. I'm hoping by that point, at least the first four books in the series are, um, are out. I know that this series was actually initially two separate series. I think it was the Addicted series and then the Callaway Sister series, but now the authors decided to combine it all into one series because they feel like you really should be reading them in like connection with each other in a certain order. Um, so I don't know if that's part of why they're doing new covers so that it's more of like a cohesive set. But um, again, I, I want to have at least like three to four of them in my hands before I start reading the series, just in case I want to fly through them. Um, so I'm thinking summer 2023 is when I'm going to get to these. And that is it for my March 2023 book haul purchased a lot of books. I know. Um, I, I just, I couldn't help it. I, <laughs> I desperately wanted to get my hands on a lot of these books. I know that a bunch of these are ones that I want to read sooner rather than later. So, uh, very excited about the books that I picked up. If you've read any of the books that are in this video, please give me some spoiler free thoughts down below. And as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.